Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I am showing you my beauty room tour and my makeup collection. I decided to speed through this really quickly, just show you what I've got in my makeup drawers. I didn't really go slowly through any of it just because I kind of wanted to get it done, show you. Personally, for me, I don't like sitting through every single product. I kind of like seeing an overview, but if you do want me to go back and do every single product and kind of go more into depth with my makeup, then just let me know and I will definitely do that. I know I have a lot of makeup. Honestly, most of it is sent to me from being on YouTube. I owe that all to you guys, so I am doing a beauty giveaway. Link is down below and I'll also have the video down below where you guys can see the actual products you can win. But yeah, thank you so much for the constant support, just getting me to even, you know, make a beauty room. It's kind of insane. I hope you guys love it. I know everybody has been wanting this video for a while, ever since freaking 4,000 years ago I posted the beginning stages of my beauty room and then never followed up. But it's finally done. It definitely took some long, long thinking and building and everything like that. All the furniture is Ikea. Thanks for watching, I love you, I hope you enjoy it, and let's get started. So bear with me, I'm gonna try and show you the best I can. So this is the door to get in, and when you open it, you see an overview of this. And then we're back to the door. So when you walk in, the first corner, I guess, right here is just some extra storage. Uh, the top two drawers is where I just kind of keep like random camera stuff or all these nail polishes Essie sent, the bag of giveaway prizes, um, just camera, another lens, random stuff basically goes in here. I know it's not very organized. I'm just trying to do, trying to find a better way to keep things a little bit more organized. And then in these random drawers, I just have stuff that didn't fit other places. So I have some loving tan stuff. This is how I self tan myself and then some bigger palettes. In here, I have all my Sigma products, which I love very much. And they actually sent this over like this, so it made it really easy to store away. And here, I just have some MAC lipsticks and I just have a bunch of foundations because I did a video using these foundations so obviously I gotta keep my babies stored away. And then these drawers are all empty. In here I just have some random backdrops in these little boxes and that's about it for this, for this whole section. So that's the front door. That's that, and then when you turn this way, before you get to that whole section, I have two closets, I guess it's one closet, two doors, you know what I mean. Um, this is where I just store all my lighting and my tripods and all that good stuff. I'll put in a little overlay of what it looks like when I'm filming with my lights, but um, if I just wanna keep it nice and clean in my room, especially for this video, I need to impress you guys, um, I just keep it kinda of tucked away. I wanna to go to this section, this whole thing is where I edit, so I have my big desktop, I have a mic, and then, yeah. I also have my 100,000 plaque, so that's very exciting. And in these drawers, I just have like hair ties, a knife, I know that seems concerning, but it's because I open up my packages with it. Um, just random stuff like that. In this drawer, I just have some more random stuff. So that's what my little desk area looks like. And then right to the left of my desk, I have this door, but it just goes to the bathroom. I never use it. And then when you come to the right of my desk, I have my two IKEA drawers. Okay, is it bothering anyone else that they're not closed all the way? So at the top of my IKEA drawers, I just have all my makeup brushes. I know they look a little bit crazy, but that's kind of what's happening. And then I also have this little lip collection of lipsticks. And then I have all my makeup in these drawers. I guess I'll just show you really quick what I keep in all of these drawers. So in the top one, I have primers, brows, and then some makeup remover wipes. This is not very organized, so I'm really sorry. And then this top drawer is where I just keep like lotions, setting sprays, chapstick, and then like random tools like sharpeners, brow, curl brow curlers, I mean eyelash curlers, and all that. And then in this drawer, I keep all my concealers right here and then all my powders. 
And then over here, I keep eye pencils, and then liquid liner, and then gel. And then I also have all my drugstore mascara in here. It was kind of overflowing, so I pushed it to the side a little bit. In the third drawer to the left, I have all my foundations. As you can see, I have it in the messiest way possible. I really need to organize all this. I just haven't figured out the best way to do so. And then this third drawer, I have all my eye pigments. So I have like these amazing milk ones. I'm obsessed. Um, this random like single shadows, glitters. The fourth drawer, I have some bronzing palettes. I have some highlighters. My Sephora collection highlighting palette. Just stuff like that. And in this drawer, I have all my drugstore or affordable eyeshadow palettes. So I have some ColourPop. This I just used in a first impressions video. I'm obsessed with it. And then in this drawer, I have cream blushes, cream highlighters, um, liquids, all that jazz. And then over here, I have all my high-end palettes. So I have Too Faced, Laura Mercier, Naked, Way, Makeup Forever, all that. And right here, I have more bronzers and blushes and just powder products, um, as you can see. And then right here, I have some lashes, just some lash equipment. Down here, I have all my high-end mascara. Um, I actually ended up having to separate them from drugstore to high-end because it was overflowing. So that's that. Then in this drawer, I keep some nudie pink lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses. I really don't have an organization method, I guess, because there's so many lip products. And then when I go down here, I have nothing. And down here, I just have some random lipsticks that I've been sent that uh, when you have too many, you don't know what shades they are. So that's what's happening down here. And then right over here, I have more lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and lip glosses and random stuff. Then down here, I have more lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners. It's so messy and random. And that is it for my two Ikea drawers. <laughs> kind of crazy. I'm sorry if it was shaky and annoying and blurry, but I'm trying. <laughs> Once you come over this way, I just have the background where I film. This is kind of new for me. Um, I'm just trying to see how I like it. And then you're back at the door. And that's my beauty room! I'll come back and I'll do a little overview again. So I'm standing at the door. Once you go all the way around. That's what it looks like. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my beauty room tour. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any tips for me to organize my makeup a little bit better. It would mean the world to me. <laughs> um, I love you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.